This is a subscriber request from MGM The Grand coming off of the better mixer layouts for FL Studio video. Just looking at the solo bus options because it's kind of confusing how it works. You know, most DAWs press S or press M and that kind of does what you need. FL Studio works a little bit different. So let's have a quick look at what we can do in terms of solo and mute groups. Right off the bat, the way to select multiple channels in FL Studio. For me, I'm on Mac, you need to hold down Command. I don't know if this is still like the Windows key on Windows. I've not been on that for years. What you can do, hold that and then click on your track and you can drag along. And as you can see, we can select multiple tracks here, right? Once I take it off, if I select any track, it just goes back to that one individual one. Now in terms of buses, right? Let's say I've got my vocal and instrument bus here. Let's hold Command, select those two. Now, if we sort of right click, it only does the one. If we single click it and it mutes the other. The way to get them as a group is to press S. However, the problem with that, it solos just those two and we don't actually hear anything rooted to them, it's muted them. We have to hold Option and tap S. Option S links all of the channels that are linked to that bus and sends it to them. So now it will solo just those out for us. Same as we could do it with say just the vocals. For example, if I select just the vocals track, Option S. Yeah, it's gonna just take those. Just instruments, same story. Now, unfortunately, we don't have an option in FL Studio to mute group things like that. Kind of frustrating, I understand. There is no mute shortcut key. What we can do to very quickly get everything back though, if we right click on our instrument, it's gonna focus on it. We right click again, that's gonna switch everything back on for us. Obviously single click to turn it off, right click to bring it, bring everything back to the way it was. Equally, you can hold control and click and that's gonna do it for us just with a single click instead of using your right click option there. Yeah, something we might come up against is we can't select different tracks. We have to kind of highlight them all together, right? So we can quickly rearrange them if we need to do that. We can hold shift. Use our mouse wheel, move instruments next to drums. I can now highlight the two like that. And now I can do option S and block them out that way. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the mixer layout that I use, you should check out the video on the screen now.